Bringing home a new cat is a fun and exciting experience for all human family members. While we'd like our new cats to get along with any resident cat that's already in the home, it is more realistic to expect that it may take a while for them to become best buddies. Today, we're going to check in with the Waldy family to show how to facilitate positive and rewarding introductions between our cat family members. First and foremost, establish a cat safe zone in your house. This is the area in your home, like a bathroom or a bedroom, that can be completely closed off so that your resident cat cannot access it. The zone should not be a place where your resident cat enjoys spending time. Consider adding Feel Away Multi-Cat Diffuser in the cat safe zone and in other areas in your house where the resident cat frequents. The first step is scent swapping. For this exercise, you'll need two used but clean socks. Rub one sock on your new cat's cheeks and seal it in the plastic bag. Rub the other sock on your resident cat's cheeks and seal it in the plastic bag. Open the bag and allow your resident cat to smell the scented sock from your new cat. Immediately follow the sniffing with a yummy treat. Repeat the same process with your new cat using the sock that has a scent of the resident cat on it. Repeat three times a day while your new cat is in the cat safe zone. The second step is to feed both cats at the same time on opposite sides of the door. The goal is to feed them a foot away from the door, then move the food closer until both cats eat comfortably next to the door. This helps both cats associate each other with good things, food. If your cats are allowed access to dry food all day, you can do this exercise with a little bit of wet food. Continue feeding in this manner while your new cat is in the cat safe zone. Third step involves room swapping. Switch your cats between each other's areas for one to two hours per day. During swapping, do not allow the two cats to see each other or come in contact with each other. Continue room swapping while your new cat is in the cat safe zone. For face-to-face -face introductions, the door to the cat safe zone should be open half an inch so both cats can see each other. The open space should be wide enough that both cats cannot touch each other or fit their heads through it. For positive interactions, reward both cats with yummy treats or play. Repeat twice a day while your new cat is in the cat safe zone. Once your cats are able to hang out calmly next to each other on either side of the cracked door, you can do a supervised face-to-face -face greeting. Open the door of the cat safe zone and allow both cats to move freely about. At no point should you have either cat in your arms. Reward both cats for calm behavior with treats or play. Repeat supervised face-to-face -face greetings until you are confident that your cats will not fight. Just like humans, many cats need some extra time to warm up to each other before becoming good buddies. Take your time and ensure every interaction is a positive one for the best results. Here are a few more positively helpful hints to keep in mind. By following these simple tips, you will be well on your way to having a happy and healthy feline household.